Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, that's a cracker. Look at the sustain. G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm squid fishing. I'm going to do a how to catch squid episode. I might as well do some videos that you guys can relate to because not everyone out there has a boat. And so I thought I'd come back to basics and not even use my boat, just rock hop and try and find some squid. This can relate to no matter where you live. You might know the area of where I'm fishing or you might have no clue where I'm fishing. It doesn't really matter. If you're in Australia, this is all gonna apply to you. Just looking for any kind of bay and not a beach. This is where you're gonna find a rocky bottom or a weedy bottom instead of a sandy bottom like you find on beaches. There's no secret spots for squid. I try and emphasize this a lot to people who don't really know how to catch squid because the squid are everywhere. If you go to a bay that has a weedy bottom, there's gonna be squid. There's genuinely no secret. So let's try and catch some squid. There's no right or wrong way to squid jig. You can do a slow wind. You can do a fast wind. It's not the best, but you can still get them on a fast wind or you can just do a little twitch. But you wanna be close to that weed but not getting snagged. So not too high, not too low, but just in the middle there where they can see the squid jig, but you're not getting snagged. There we go, first squid on the flash boost. Oh, he's not huge. You have to try and bring him up on this little ledge. Oi, he's inking. Oh, he's tiny. Alright, a squid is a squid. There we go. Oh, he's not too bad. First squid of the day on the purple flash boost. So I'll put him in this rock pool for now and we'll keep fishing. That's first squid. We are on the board. Is that a small one? That's a squid, that's a tiny squid. Is it weed or a squid? It looks like a squid. <laughs> that was going to be my last cast. I thought, one more. Why not? It's very small though. And I just dropped it. Spill. Oh, he's coming back for it. He's coming back for it. I see him. There he is. You stupid. You stupid little man. <laughs> you stupid. And second one of the day on the flash boost again. The purple is definitely doing a better job than the orange. Pretty small. But if you're that dumb, mate, you deserve to go in the fry pan. Second one of the day is not actually that much different to the first one. I don't discriminate against squid. There's no legal size for them. They grow really quick. They reproduce really quick. So I never feel bad taking small squid. They all taste the same when they're in my belly. And yeah, I just don't discriminate. Big, small, black, white, whatever squid you are, I'm coming for you. So you guys see I'm snagged. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Straight off. But usually all you have to do is just go one up really hard because it's only stuck on weed that's why i use around 12 pound leader 10 to 12 pound it's nice and thin but it's also strong enough to break off those little snags gonna move on to the next bay i'm just gonna dispatch these two squid and you guys know the drill the most humane way is when it kills it really quick so hopefully they don't feel a thing but between the head and the body is the best way to do it sometimes it takes two goes sometimes it takes one go but he's gone. They're all just nerves. When he turns white like that, he's dead. No good at the second spot, so I'm gonna to go to another spot. And we'll just keep trying, from, go from bay from bay, to show you guys that it doesn't really matter where you go, there's squid gonna be there. First spot was good, second spot was shit, third spot, let's find out. As if, I was winding so fast just then and a donkey just grabbed it with his candle. <laughs> and I cast so shallow. And I just turned my GoPro off when he grabbed it and it felt like a snag, he had that much power. 
can see his candle. That's what they reach out and grab their bait with. Just holding on with one candle, that big long tentacle. It's a nice one too. That's a good one for second cast. He's not liking this. He's only just hooked. Oh. Oh my god, that is a that is a donkey. <laughs> oh my god. Second cast, boys. <laughs> Look at the size of that dog. Absolutely just smashed my squid jig. Oh. Second cast. Well, I was going to find out if the third spot's good. What a cracker. I did not expect to get one that big, that shallow. Wow. Again, I'm on again. Oh, he dropped it. That feels like a squid. There's a snag. Oh, that was a squid. That's a good squid. That is a good squid again. Exact same spot as the last one I just lost. I thought that was a snag. That is a good one. That is a cracker. And this is our goodies hook. Oh, another decent one. Oh, he's, he's got a second one with him. Look at that second one with him. It's even bigger. I'll get this guy up and try and get the second one. Or should I leave him out there? What should I do? What should I do? Oh, I'm going to risk it all right now. I'm going to risk it all right now. Still got this one in. Just came in shallow. Other one's still there. God, I'm multitasking like a boss right now. I've got two squid on. What the actual? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I lost both of them. Well, I just got possibly the biggest tangle. Had to cut both my lines. Lost both those massive squid. That's what I get for being greedy. I'm trying to get both, I guess. But anyway, that was pretty cool. The bigger squid actually tried to eat the smaller squid that I had hooked up. It was weird. I've never seen that before. But anyway, I'm pretty freaking mad right now. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap that episode up here. That's how to catch squid. I left a few out there for you guys. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter what squid lure you've got. It doesn't matter what setup you've got. They're the easiest thing to catch on lures. Anyone can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. You just got to find a good area. Once you find that area, there's squid there. All there's got to be is a bit of weed, a bit of structure for them to hide in and you'll find them. Just make sure it's not sand and you are sweet. I want to keep this episode pretty quick and pretty simple for you guys to watch. No one likes a how-to 15 minute long episode when it doesn't really take that long at all. Anyway, if you want to merch, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. You've got some snapper jigs there too if you're interested in buying them. And I'll see you next time. Phew. Just holding on with the candles. Oh, you dog.